Welcome to our introduction to the Sketcher Workbench. Let's start by creating a new document. We're going to select the New Document command from the standard toolbar. If you don't have this toolbar, select View, Toolbars, and select Standard. Create a new document. I'm going to choose Part. Click OK. Katia prompts us with a new part dialog window, which we covered in the previous chapter. Enable Hybrid Design should be checked. And click OK. We're in the Wireframe and Surface Design workbench right now. The reason for this is that Katia opens the last used workbench. I'm going to click on Sketch on the Sketcher workbench. Once again, if you don't have this workbench visible, select View, Toolbars, Sketcher. I'm going to choose one of these three planes from here or here. And we see that a grid appears here. If I zoom in a little, we see a solid lines, which represents the primary spacing. The dotted lines represent the graduations. We covered this in the previous tutorial about options. Tools. Options, Sketcher. Here, the primary spacing is set to 1 inch, with the graduation set at 8. Let's change this to 4. Click OK. Now we have primary spacing of 1 inch, with divisions into 4 graduations. Here, on the Workbench toolbar, we have two icons. One is the sketcher, and the other is used to exit the workbench. The sketcher is basically a subbench. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to exit this sketch. You see, right now, we're in the wireframe and surface design workbench. I'm going to click and select the part design workbench and see what happens. I click the sketcher again, choose one of the planes. Right now I'm in the sketcher workbench, but I enter it from the part design workbench. Let me exit the sketcher again. I'm going to close this part document now without saving it. Let's click on the workbench icon from the workbench toolbar and the Welcome to Katia dialog window opens. Remember we selected the workbenches that appear here in a previous tutorial on customization. Let's just quickly refresh. We select Tools, Customize, and the Customize dialog window opens. Here we select the workbenches that appear in the Welcome to Katia dialog window. Okay, we're going to close this. Let's get back to our Welcome to Katia dialog window. We're going to select the Sketcher workbench. The new part dialog window opens. I leave the parameters as is and click OK. Even though I selected the Sketcher workbench earlier, I'm not quite there yet. As you see here, we're in the part design workbench because that's the last workbench that we used. We still have to activate the Sketcher workbench, and we can do that by dragging the icon over to one of the planes. Oops, deactivate it, grab it, and drop it on one of the planes. In this case, the ZX plane. We're again in the Sketcher workbench. Let me close this document. I'm going to open the existing document, part1.catpart.
open, and here I have an existing solid. And I can go under the part body branch. We see sketch one. It's gray. The reason being that it's in no show mode. However, I can still double click on it to access the sketch. OK, let's exit. We can also create a sketch right on top of this surface. Oops, let me exit it. Sketch 1 was selected. Let me just click and deselect it. And I'll click Sketch and this face. And now I've created sketch two. Now I can sketch something here and create a second solid. OK, let's exit it. I can also simply drag the sketch, drag it on top of this face, which also gets me to the Sketcher workbench. And this concludes our introduction to the Sketcher workbench.